What's going on, everybody? I want to welcome you to Little's Pressure Washing. In this video, we're going to be training our guys to soft wash properly, protect the pumps, and wash from the top down at the outer edge of the canopy to the inside, to the bonnets, the pump numbers, etc., etc. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribed. Hit the like button. It's free. It really helps the channel. You know, we don't ask a lot. Just hit the like button. We really would gratefully appreciate it. And we hope you enjoy this video, guys. Let's get into it. So right here, we're going to start at this section up here, work our way into the inside, leaving a couple pumps open in case some people want to get gas at night. Of course, the gas station's closed, so it's not going to be getting it on anybody. And if somebody pulls up, we're going to stop. So what we're applying is about a 1.5 to a 2% mix. It's not that bad. We're going to be washing with some Mako Maximizer. That's our brand of roof cleaning we add to our SH does an amazing job it holds the sh up there allows it to work and then you can't hardly see the soap at all till you rinse it it comes down so we love it because it cuts down on the sh that's being used and it makes it work better it's a surfactant but it's specifically created for roof washing there's no masking agent in it we have a masking agent hammerhead house washed it's a green apple but that's for exteriors. You can use it on the roof as well, but we recommend the Mako Maximizer, which is what we're using for our canopies, our roofs. It just holds that SH and allows it to work really good. As you can see, we got the mask on. He's got the goggles, the glasses, the gloves, long sleeves, proper protection, spring. I'm gonna show y'all the rig we're using tonight. We got our signage up here. You go right to the QR code, scan that. We don't just talk about it, we live it. We kind of change that filter out, this water gets it dirty. We have our 18 inch tightness. We got the pressure washer rolled back up. We're using the M5 twist nozzle. I'll show you. These two right here, ripped it. We got our zip ties. We got the P40 right here. Over here, we got our GX690. Put the lights on in the trailer so we can see one of our night trailers. Flip it again, we got ambers. And we got lights, ambers, full full. Wrapping it around. We got our ladder here. We got more signage over here. And of course, surface cleaner in the back, which we're not using tonight. Spare tire. Always have spare tire. newest wrap we have right here we're wrapping all our trucks like this so you can also when you're riding next to us scan the QR code coming around here people over profits residential commercial license insured got it on front like a NASCAR same thing over here you're riding by you can scan it also if you're riding behind us guess what Boom, you can scan right there too. You got little special washing, you got little special washing, and scan me right there. This is what we're gonna put on all our trucks and trailers and cars. And we got some more things coming too. Stay tuned for that. That's what we do, man. People over profits. What we do, there's Sharky. If you don't know, his name is Sharky. Let's go. That's done. Good, good. It looks great. Good job, guys. So they're wrapping it up. He's about to shut the machine off here in a couple seconds. You hear it go off. In three, two, one. Boom. Looks good. Perfect. Couldn't have done better myself. It looks amazing. I'm going to flip the camera around and let you guys see. All right, guys. She's a wrap. Got her looking good. Look at that. Got the pump numbers clean. The bonnet's clean. The beam's clean. The outside perimeter clean. The entire canopy is absolutely amazing. Train people right. Spend time with them. Train them right. And you know what? If you want to get off the truck, you'll be able to get off the truck. But I, I love being on the truck. But I, I also want to work on my company instead of in my company so that I can pass it down and maybe grow it in other places and whatever you want to do. That's just what I want to do. To each its own. You know, some people don't want to. Some people do. But if you do want to train others, Try not to micromanage. You gotta loosen the reins and let them go. People are gonna make mistakes. It's okay. 
we all make mistakes. You just try not to make them more than once and uh, learn from them. You want to learn from others' mistakes, but if you do have to learn from your own mistakes, ain't nothing wrong with that. We all have, we all make mistakes. Only Jesus is the perfect person that's ever walked the earth that hasn't made mistakes. Remember that. Again, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you could, if you don't mind, hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that notification bell is tapped so every time we drop a video, you will get notified. And we got some huge announcements that we're coming up or making. So yeah, make sure you're notified so you'll know it when we go live, when we drop videos. We got a new studio we're about to start recording in. Awesome videos, drone footage. You do not want to miss this. Once again, guys, it's all about people over profits. Keep God first in all you do. Let's go.